Hello everybody, Epicblox here, and this time on Scratch I have devised a little game which utilizes this cool new feature I found for creating realistic projectile trajectories. Let me show you what I mean by that. I have this bow, and I can draw it back and let go, and it'll shoot an arrow which will fall and point in the direction it's traveling. Now the way I'm doing this is I'm using a bit of trigonometry and some neat functions with variables. Basically, I have two variables, dx and dy. dx is how far the arrow travels every frame on the x-axis. dy is how far the arrow travels every frame on the y-axis. Basically, when, I'm being, when the arrow is being fired, we're setting dx to x position of bow minus mouse x and dy to the y position of bow minus mouse y. And basically that's doing is depending on where your mouse is over here will affect the velocity of the arrow. And forever we're changing x by dx so it travels this way depending on how far this way you were and we're changing y by dy. Same thing. However, since we have gravity we want dy to change so at the end of every frame, we subtract 1 from dy. And we also point in direction dx dy. This is a function I used, which uses trigonometry to figure out in which direction the arrow should be pointing given dx and dy. Basically, what I'm using is I'm using ATAN. Basically, what ATAN will do is that given an angle, I can put in dx over dy, and it will give me that angle. And I have two of these functions because if dy is less than zero, because this isn't an a tan 2 and doesn't take in two parameters, I need to add 180 to this result. Because you see, if I didn't add 180 to this result, whenever the arrows started falling, they would, their arrowheads would point up. You can see that. So that's why you need to do that. So that's all I really have for today. So this is a neat little projectile trajectory feature. You can add to your ballistics game all you want. That's all I really have for now. Also, some feedback in the form of comments would be really great because I'm kind of running out of ideas to do. And if you guys have specific ideas for what you would like to see possible in Scratch, that would be fantastic. So that's about it. Thank you everybody for watching.